Hey guys, Julia here. In this video, I'm quickly gonna show you how to change your Shopify plan. We're also gonna go over a couple of different features of the different plans so that you can consider which one is the right for your business. Now, before we dive in, if you still haven't signed up for Shopify, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for your first three months. So if you haven't signed up yet, you can find the link below. All right, now here's how to change your Shopify plan. It's super easy. From the Shopify dashboards, we're gonna go down here to settings. Now here on the sides menu, we're gonna go to plan. And over here, you're going to see the plan that you are currently subscribed to. So as you can see, I'm currently in the basic plan. That's $39 per month. So we're gonna go over here to change plan. And here we have all of the options available. So we have basic, grow, advanced, and plus. And down here, we also have the option to add retail, which is for you to sell in person. And this can be added to any of your plans. All right, so let's go over these options. If you already know what plan you want to change to, you can just select it like this and click on subscribe. And if you're not sure yet, then let's look at the options together. All right, so the basic plan is $39 per month. You get a full online store. You get to sell in person with a phone or card reader. And I do have a card reader myself. This is great if you want to do some low key in-person selling as well, like pop-up markets. Your card rates are gonna be 2.6%. You get 10 inventory locations, which means 10 different places that you can have your inventory stocked at and easy shipping labels. So for anybody starting out, the basic plan is more than enough, and you can even use it to scale up to 10 inventory locations. And this is ideal if you are working by yourself. Next, we have the grow plan, which is ideal for small teams, and it costs 105 US dollars per month. So here you're gonna have everything that the basic plan also has, but the most interesting thing here is that you get five staff accounts. So if you have a team of people or maybe just one more person working with you, this is already gonna be a really good option. And you also get shipping discounts and insurance. Next over here, we have the advanced plan for businesses that are ready to scale. So this one costs $399 per month. We get fully integrated shipping. So as you can see here, that's 88% off on shipping rates from DHL Express, UPS, or USPS. You get to show third-party calculated rates at checkouts, which is a great way to increase your conversion rates. And you get up to $200 coverage with each eligible label. We also have 15 staff accounts, so clearly an option for larger teams. You also get theme customization per market, so that means you can fully redesign your websites for different locations. So let's say you are selling in US and you are also selling, I don't know, maybe in Japan. Those are clearly two very different markets, so with this feature you can fully redesign your store for a specific country or group of countries. Once again, this is great if you're scaling internationally and you want to market towards very different locations. And you also get enhanced 24-7 chat support, which is good to have as well. Now, just a quick note, you also get customer support in the other plans. Personally, from my experience, the basic plan customer support is also excellent. It's always been very helpful and I've never had any issues there myself. So the advanced customer support is more of a premium experience. And finally, over here, we have the plus plan, which is for more complex businesses, starting at $2,300 per month. So here you get up to 200 inventory locations, so clearly something for very large companies. You get local storefronts by market, fully integrated shipping. You get unlimited staff accounts, so that's an unlimited number of team members that you can have working on the store. You also get theme customization per market, and you get priority 24 seven phone support, which is very helpful and premium in case you run into any issues. You also get fully customizable checkouts. So you have full control over what your checkout page is gonna look like. Though I do have to say, Shopify is known to have the best converting checkout on the planet, even on the basic and starter plans. So this is really something for very large companies who want to have something very specific and custom. You also get to sell wholesale business to business, you get to optimize your ad with audiences. So that's gonna help you reach custom audiences with lists that are generated from Shopify's algorithms. And you get nine free expansion stores. So these are stores that are under the same brand that are selling in different geographies or that you're using for wholesale or retail. Now in any Shopify plan that you get, you're gonna have access to the Shopify store, which has over 13,000 apps that you can use to enhance the functionality of your store. You do get 24 seven chat support in any of the plans. You can sell online and in person. And we're gonna go more into selling in person in a moment. And as I mentioned, you get the world's best checkouts. So this is by default, a very high converting checkout page. And if you want to, you can pay yearly and save 25%. So as you can see, everything is a little bit cheaper. 
Now down here, we can also easily compare everything. So if we click on see all features, that's gonna break down in detail what you get on each plan and what the difference really is. And down here we have the Shopify retail plan, which is for selling in person. So this one costs $79 per month. We get to sell in person in one location using POS Pro, which stands for point of sale. We get card rates from 2.6%, 10 inventory locations, unlimited point of sale staff with roles and permissions. You get inventory management and rich customer profiles and insights. So perfect if you are selling in person. Now, just a quick note, POS Pro, which stands for point of sale, this is something that can be added to any of your other existing plans. So if you are on the basic plan and you want to sell in person as well, you can use POS Lite. You can also install the POS feature into your store and use a card reader to process sales. Once you've decided on the right plan for your business, just click on select and subscribe. And that's how you change your Shopify plan. Quick reminder, if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm gonna leave the best current deal for getting started linked here in the description. Right now it's at $1 for your first three months. So you have three entire months to build your online store for just $1. So whenever you're ready, you can find the link below and create your Shopify account. And if you're looking to get more sales in your Shopify store, I've created this entire online course to help you with that. It's called Sell Like a Pro, so you can learn how to make your store more professional and get more sales. So this is for store owners who are ready to have a better store, something that's really very professionally designed, full of strategies to help you get more sales and things that make your online store really irresistible to your customers. This course is packed with strategies to help you increase your conversion rates, increase your average order value and take your store from very simple and mediocre to something really outstanding. We have seven modules and over 40 episodes. Everything is super easy to follow. It's structured in a way where you can follow along and implement the changes directly in your store so that by the end of it, you have a truly professional looking business that actually sells. We're covering tons of beginner mistakes that I have seen countless times blocking beginner sales. I'll teach you how to optimize your product photos, your store language, your design, your call to actions, your offers. So we're gonna dive into tons of different offer types and how to calculate them very carefully and how to add them to your store step-by-step. Step. We're gonna dive into super important things like product page optimization and how to fix common mistakes made in your Shopify store settings, which have cost me personally back when I was getting started. So I've put this together to help you set yourself up for success and finally build the online business that you have been dreaming about. It's gonna be super easy, step by step. We have a whole community on sides where you get to ask questions, post things and engage with others. And I'll be there to answer all of your questions and help you along the process. So if you're ready to take your business to the next level, I'm gonna leave this course linked below. And that's all for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.